A Carter in Colorado joins us. Hi, Carter. What do you have for me today? Hey, what up, DP? So I was one of those unfortunate fans that wrote out the pathetic game last night all the way to the bitter end. Um, but Fritzy, come on now. It's not out of question to fire Elway. I mean, do I have to go over the draft picks? Dare I say Garrett Bowles? But, I mean, in the Denver Post this morning, they're writing articles about hiring Manning instead. So, Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I know that Peyton wants to, you know, run a team, but could you imagine Peyton Manning replacing John Elway? He lives in Denver. He's always around the team. Well, I, don't know. I know. Would he be good at that? How do you know if somebody's going to be good at that kind of thing? I, you know, you're, you're wondering what their football IQ is in assessing a team. You know, Peyton's, we know what his IQ was when he got on the football field, and we know what Elway's IQ was when he got on the football field. But how many guys can step away from the game and then look and go, okay, that's who we want to draft. That's what we need. That's the style. That's the coach we're going to have. You know, that, that we don't know. Now I did ask Tony Dungy about this a while ago about Peyton. How would he be as a coach? And he said, Oh, he would drive you crazy. And then because he said he would do all of this work, like he Peyton was an offensive coordinator and he would drive you crazy with all of the work that he would do. Yeah, Fritzy. And, and I would think Payne would get so frustrated being such a perfectionist that to try to expect everyone to do it like him, and if they don't do that right away, I don't know how that would sit with him trying to get them to have that kind of 24-7 dedication that he brought. And I don't know if he would want to be part of ownership or he would be a guy who wanted to run a team. But remember, he said he didn't want to be broadcasting because he didn't want to broadcast games that his brother was playing in. Problem solved. And his brother is not playing anymore. So maybe being a broadcaster. Yes, McLovin. Remember when Dan Marino took over and quit like two weeks later? Because yeah. he's like, these hours are not for me. <laughs> like it interfered with his golf game too. I think work ethic's a big deal too. Well, Magic didn't stay long with the Lakers when he was coaching them. He bowed out after, what, 13 games? Yeah, for two. Peyton also seems to have a lot of other interests and likes to kind of be funny and goofy and, you know, whether it be acting or whatever. He's been so good on SNL and, and other comedy type things. I, just, I don't know if he wants to be stuck in some kind of executive team role as opposed to just branching out to all kinds of different stuff. I'm going to guess that pays better than waiting around for Saturday Night Live. You know, he's got his commercials that he does, but and he's got the Peyton's places with the mothership. Yes, he have you ever watched uh, when Peyton Manning does the details thing on uh, I think it's like ESPN plus or whatever, where he oh, yeah. breaks down somebody's code. It's really just him delivering one liners the whole time where he said he'll say like real quarterback stuff like, oh, look, yeah, he's got this guy in motion here. That's how he knows now it's zone defense and then blah, blah, blah. This is the oh, God, look how good that is. You know, who's going to love this? Tony Dungy's going to love this. He's a, and he's just like giving all these little shout outs about like different players. Oh, you know who used to play this way? So and so loves this. All these little one liners and jokes and stuff. It's pretty funny. Yeah, I know. I would want to be part of ownership. I don't think I'd want to run a team. Uh, it, it feels like a thankless job. And here's Elway, who is, you know, the high regard that he's held in in, in that state. And now you got people who look at you differently and say, what are we doing here? Is this the right coach? You know, do we need to bring in this quarterback? Is Drew Locke going to be the future? You know, what kind of team are we? You had fans who were leaving last night, and that has been always one of the best fan bases in the NFL. Yeah, Paul. Didn't we have Peyton Manning on maybe five years ago, and you were broaching the topic of what's he doing after his career? And didn't he say, like, yeah, I, I could see maybe being, like, the Vols quarterback coach or something like that. I think he said, I could see that where you're not running the whole show, but you can deal just with the quarterbacks. If you're going to do it, what are you going to enjoy doing? Because a lot of these guys aren't good at this because they're control freaks. There's only so much that Peyton could do, so much that John Elway can do. John Elway was so used to, hey, we're not playing well. Just put it on my back, and then we'll go out and win. Uh, we'll go 98 yards here. Uh, Peyton would be the same way. When you can't do that, when you're watching – I think that would be pretty frustrating. Yeah, Tony. And there are athletes that don't want the limelight or they're not worried about the, the big payday and they just love teaching football where they just want to be with, you know, in some high school somewhere, you know, Favre has done things of that nature where you just want to teach kids and you don't want to have that grind of worrying about on a national level the wins and losses every single week. But I don't know if Peyton Manning looks at uh, Tony Romo and goes, oh, really? Like, do you think that he knows what's happening pre pre-snap? Uh, let me show you. I don't. I mean, he's competitive, 
and I don't know if he looks at this and says, you know, hey, I'd love to be part of an organization, the Carolina Panthers or wherever. Yeah, the maybe Titans. He, maybe he wants to get that competitive thing going, win a show he can win a Super Bowl again, like to replace that juice. I don't know. I I thought that he was at first looking at broadcasting, and then when I realized, I know there are networks that went after him, and they were quickly told that he's not going to do that while Eli is still playing. And now that Eli's not playing, you know, does Peyton want to do something like that? Or does he want to follow? Does he look at, is it a cautionary tale with John Elway, with what's happened there? Because you can be, you can know football, but a lot of it is luck. Look at a lot of these teams that, you know, Seattle lucks into Russell Wilson when they drafted him. You know, they, they were all in on Matt Flynn, uh, the Cowboys. They wanted to take Connor Cook out of Michigan State. And then Oakland took him, and then they took Dak Prescott. The luck that's involved in that position, running a team, I think is immeasurable. I mean, the Dolphins, they were going to have Drew Brees. They went to Dante Culpepper. So you're just, there's a lot of luck that goes into that. Uh, this is Peyton four years ago when he said, um, maybe a quarterback's coach. I could do that at Tennessee. Head coach, absolutely not. For whatever reason, people in Tennessee like me right now. You become a head coach, cut it in half. Why are you throwing on fourth and one? Why did you punt when you should have gone for it? It's like being in politics. Quarterback coach, you can stay under the radar. For more Dan Patrick Show, tune in to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV, stream for free on BR Live, or download the Dan Patrick Show app.